What is going on everybody, Zionic here, and in today's video we're diving into the Great League Remix Cup with Wing Attack Charizard. Yes, this thing is an absolute monster. Ferrothorn, Charizard, and Pelipper. I also put Blizzard there on Pelipper to do some surprising booms to Flyers who are not suspecting it. And my Charizard as well, if you're looking at the IVs, was a lucky trade from 2019 when I needed this thing for the Rainbow Cup. Just for those of you guys who are still OGs from back then, you guys understand. Um, but eventually I will replace it out, but I just don't want to use an Elite TM right now. All right, getting into the first battle. We have Ferrothorn on the lead versus Toxicroak. Not a good matchup. We're going to swap out into Pelipper right away. Now, that's a poison jab Toxicroak as well. We need to note that for later. But we will see a Hypno come in, and we're going to go ahead and go for that Blizzard right away. If we can land this, this is an incredible amount of neutral damage because I'm guessing... Oh, we do land it. Beautiful. I'm guessing they're going to want to throw the Thunder Punch, but they don't. So I am actually now able to get to this Weather Ball, which is going to force Shield Advantage for me, which is huge because a Thunder um, from Ferrothorn is going to put a lot of pressure on Toxicroak on the back end here. So we're going to go ahead and let this go. And then we're going to come in with Ferrothorn now and fully farm down. Granted, Ferrothorn could be hit with a Fire Punch right here. I'm okay if it does. It is doubles or, you know, massively super effective, four times super effective or what have you. But I'm okay with that. But it is actually just a Thunder Punch, which is perfectly fine with me. This means I'll definitely be able to farm down. We are in a much better situation right now because Ferrothorn with energy here and a good amount of health can still apply pressure now to Toxicroak, especially since it does have Poison Jab instead of Counter. So Thunder now is going to be coming through. We might just get that final shoot from our opponent, but we don't. So we're going to go ahead and swap out right away. Wing Attack doing super effective damage. They swap out and it's going to be a Galarian Rapidash in the back, which is fine. Wing Attack Charizard gets to Blast Burn so quickly. It is beautiful. We're going to be able to get to this. We force a shield and now you guys are just going to see. It's like, it's just so fast. We get to it again, but this is a CMP tie, which means I can safely shield right here. Force out the uh, Rapidash with the Blast Burn because it will be doing or it will do enough neutral damage to take it out and we should be able to fast move down the Toxicroak and that is going to be a good game very well played yeah here we go buckle up Charizard with Wing Attack everyone it gains energy incredibly quickly and again this is Remix Cup which takes out a lot of hard counters to Charizard. So doesn't mean all of them are gone, but some of them are, right? Bastiodon, Swampert, Galarian, Stunfisk, um, Altaria, stuff like that. But Nice Slash here against the Sand Slash is okay with me. I'm going to go ahead and go for Power Whip. Now, Sand Slash could go run of one of two routes. It could have Earthquake or it could have Rock Tomb. So I need to be very careful how I play this right here because if this is an Earthquake, it's going to be devastating, but we're going to go ahead and let it go, and it's just going to be another Night Slash, which is fine. I don't think they had enough energy for Earthquake. I'm just putting you through the mindset of my decisions right here. So this is going to force that final shield. We are now going to swap out into Pelipper, and if they stay in, this tells me it's going to be Rock Tomb. So I'm going to go ahead and shield right here. Night, a Night, a Rock Tomb from Sand Slash would play out very well in this meta, and sure enough, it is. Now, we see a... I mean, granted, if I had Hurricane, it would do super effective damage anyways, but we see an Obama Snow come in right here. So you guys know, we're going to go for the Blizzard. Why not go for the Boom? We're going to overload on energy just a bit as well. That way we can get to a Weather Ball versus the Sand Slash if it comes back in but here we go boom down goes the obama snow and will we see the sand slash yes we do which means we get to this weather ball in time now hopefully the last pokemon is not something that can just destroy us so we will have to see it's going to be a polytoad that is perfectly fine with me they're forced to throw energy because i would be able to get to a weather ball Granted, I think they could have loaded up a bit more, but that is okay because we can come in with Ferrothorn right here. We have a shield ready to go, and we should be able to get to the Power Whip in time before they can get off two Weather Balls, which is why I thought if they loaded overloaded on energy, this would have been a different story. But that is a good game, very well played. Boom! Down goes the Politoed. All right, moving into the next one. We have... Ferrothorn on the lead versus Beedrill 
Okay, so our whole team can do pretty well against the Beedrill here. What I'm more concerned about is making sure, because I am resisting these moves, making sure I have a good amount of energy on Ferrothorn before I swap out. Now, they're going for Felstinger as well, which is fine. I do have a Power Whip loaded, so I'm going to swap out now into Pelipper, and we will see a Alolan Golem come in. So we're going to be able to get off two Weather Balls right here before they can throw a Charge move, but my guess is they're going to try to farm down, which is what they're looking to do right now as we do get to another other weather ball yet they're just going to go ahead and commit to the farm down which means we get two shields but what did we do we banked a power whip here on ferrothorn everyone we're going to go ahead and come in with that ferrothorn and we're going to throw that power whip right away now i overload on energy on accident i should have just thrown um, right away I tapped in the wrong spot but that's okay Boom! Down goes the Alolan Golem, and we will see the Beedrill come back in. And once again, they're going for Felstinger, which I'm not going to shield. I'm going to overload on energy and then swap out into Charizard as we still have two shields. We have a Thunder loaded. We're going to go ahead and swap out, and let's see what they decide to do. I actually decide to go for Dragon Claw here. Now, granted, in hindsight, I should have probably just loaded up. Um, and just shielded the charge move that they threw because if it's sludge bomb or even a troll run honestly even though it is resisted but it's going to be an aerial lace which is fine we can go ahead and farm down final pokemon is going to be a heat more so super spicy team from my opponent we're going to go ahead and go for blast burn here yes dragon claw is neutral and blast burn is resisted but it's blast burn from a charizard it does a lot of damage okay so we're going to go ahead and shield right here and then farm down with wing attack so in that situation, when we see the Beedrill decide to stay in and not swap out right away, I should commit to over farming. That way Charizard has a better matchup on the back end in the 1-0 to zero shield. Good game. All right, we got Pelipper now on the lead right here, which is very strong for us. We obviously want to face off against it here and let our Charizard do better late game. And I'm also guessing that they're going to shield. They're deciding to stay in, so I'm going to go for the Power Whip Shield Bait. And, I mean, I should just go straight for Thunder because they decided to let that go, which is fine by me. And I'm going to let this go as well. Hurricane will not one-shot us from here. We can still survive, and it was just a Weather Ball, which is fine. Now, they do decide to swap out in the Noctowl. So, they have double Flyers right here, so this obviously begs um, for us to see some sort of tank in the back, right? It could be a lot of different things, um, but ultimately, we want to save our um, Ferrothorn just in case. And with Pelipper here, we do have access to Blizzard. And again, Noctowl in the one shield right here can survive a Hurricane, I believe. Depends on how much more damage I do with this wing attack, but I think it does survive a hurricane, which is why they're going to decide. Oh, I don't know if they're going to decide. I'm going to leave you on the hook here. If they decide to shield the blizzard, <laughs> spoiler alert, they don't. <laughs> Boom! Down goes the knockdown, and we will see the Pelipper mirror, but they do decide to throw weather ball right away, which is fine by me. Now, because they threw right away, my guess is they're energy dry, so I'm going to come in with Charizard to load up on energy, and we'll have to see what is going to be in the back. So we're going to go ahead and come in. They swap out right away. It is a stun fist. So I'm going to go ahead and swap now into Ferrothorn here because we are going to be doing super effective damage. But this is still a very tough situation for us. Now, they decided to go for Discharge, which I believe Mud Bomb would have been the better call right there. But that is okay. We're going to go ahead and go for the Power Whip now to do super effective damage here. And it, oh, it lands. That is beautiful. Granted, if they shielded that, I mean, I could have still gone to a Blast Burn to take out the Stun Fisk. Um, so it wouldn't have mattered either way. But now we got to manage our energy very well. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Dragon Claw to force that final shield from them. Because remember, there's still the Pelipper to deal with. Um, and we do get that final shield. And now this is going to be a very interesting race. We're going to have to shield ourselves, and I don't think I can farm down. Plus, I am concerned about Pelipper being close to another Weather Ball. So we see it swap in, so I'm going to go ahead and throw right away, judging that the health on the Stunfisk is farm downable. Farm. I can, I can fast move down. Yeah, we can. We can fast move down. They're one fast move away right there, so that is going to be a good battle, very well played. All right, Ferrothorn versus Golbat here. So pretty decent matchup for us. I mean, Shadow Ball does do a lot of neutral damage, but the fear of thunder from down under is what's going to put a lot of shield pressure, which obviously gives more room to Charizard and Pelipper to sweep in the end game. So we let that Shadow Ball go through. I'm anticipating a swap, which they do. So I'm going to go ahead and come in with Charizard. Now, this is tough. I'm behind on energy and I can be boomed out of the sky with a thunder. So what we're going to have to do is run the switch clock. And what does that mean? Well, the switch clock in the bottom right, you can see um, with our other two Pokemon, 
the switch clock is one minute timer. And every time you do a charge move, it delays that timer because you are sitting there doing the mini game animation. So we're going to go ahead and go through double shields right here. I'm going for blast burns just in case they decide to no shield. But I know that if I go for the blast burn here and they shield, I can get to a dragon claw just in time before they get to the next charge move because the switch clock, as you can see, is coming back up, which means I'm going to swap out right away right now. Have my dragon claw. Switch clock is back up. We're going to swap out right away and we catch the charge move. It was a delayed CMP time, meaning they hadn't received all the energy yet from their fast move. We we're able to absorb thunder and they decide to swap into whiz cash here to try to catch the thunder thinking I was going to go for that. Nope. Boom. Down goes the whiz cash. Woo, and in comes the Pelipper, but we can't get to the Thunder in time. Uh-oh. Well, we got Blizzard, don't we? We're going to come in with Pelipper right here. And in this situation, Golbat is going to be forced to go for a Poison Fang first, Shadow Ball second. If they want to KO my Pelipper, which I don't think they're going to be able to do in time. Or it could have been Shadow Ball. Either way, they got to go for both of those. And you may be thinking... Huh? a shadow ball i don't know spoiler alert. no it's a poison fang we can survive we can get to this blizzard in time to boom the golbat out of the sky again spicy move set here on pelipper boom and we're swapping out right away into charizard getting ahead on energy making sure we can get to this dragon claw now versus ferrothorn because we did catch that last thunder on the our own ferrothorn we should be able to win this and that is going to be a good battle very well played this team was so much fun to use, super spicy, super solid, Ferrothorn, Charizard, Pelipper, utilizing the new wing attack buff, along with fun charge moves and unique Pokemon that we haven't really used a lot, able to go to a solid 5-0, I mean, it's it, it's rank 5 as well, but my opponents did a very good job with their own teams as well, and each of those battles came down to the wire, so good games, very well played, but I hope you guys enjoyed this one, this team was, this team was extra special, I, I loved using the Charizard-Pelipper combo, that was great, so hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and like always, thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one.